Hello everyone and welcome to another computer software is your friend video and since you're going to be installing a brand new version of Windows the first thing that comes to mind for many Windows users is security because well let's just be realistic here Windows is one of the number one targets of malicious software and worms and all of this kind of stuff I know it's it's one of those indecent realities and in every version of Windows to date we've had to either buy or download a free antivirus and cross our fingers that it works but of course no antivirus is ever as smart as the user so you always have to know what you're doing when you're online and don't go places where there may be viruses lurking because if you are stupid your antivirus will be stupid so having said that speaking of security it's actually a new feature in Windows 8 yes Microsoft has implemented some new security features and I'll be taking a look at them um, one of which you can't really see it's called the Windows smart screen filter and well it's kind of self-explanatory it's a smart screen filter it's kind of like the one that they use in Internet Explorer what it does is it scans uh, whatever installer files you may be downloading or you may be in inputting to your computer or trying to run and what it will do is it will check the certificate to see if it's a good certificate and it will let you know if there's something fishy about it and that will be the first attempt at blocking malicious software the second attempt will obviously happen when you try and run the software and this antivirus blocks it. So let's take a look at this antivirus that Microsoft has included. Um, for some of you it may be very striking or not but it's called Defender but that's not the reason why I say it might be striking. Does this look familiar to anyone? Maybe, maybe not. This is Microsoft Security Essentials, which is their free antivirus which they released a few years back when they uh, discontinued um, Live One Care or whatever their paid service was called. I don't remember. I think it was One Care. So this is what it evolved to which is actually something that's very nice because this is something that should be in any system regardless is built-in security whether or not it's the same as security essentials itself is another thing uh, that I I've been wondering for weeks well for months actually I've been wondering if it's the exact same antivirus because when they first released security essentials um, some people actually put it put it to the test with some viruses against the big names like Norton and McAfee and Microsoft Security Essentials actually detected the virus that Norton didn't get and you know Norton is one of the best known security brands on the market and you gotta pay for it you gotta get your subscription and Security Essentials this free new very slim very simple security program just beat it at its own game so now it's disguised as Windows Defender and it is in Windows 8 um, you can update it just like you could security essentials and uh, as you can see it, it updates um, fairly quickly um, meanwhile you can look at the history of your quarantine and uh, deleted files and you can tinker with the settings which is what I'm going to do right now real-time protection recommended basically what this is is when something attempts to do something wrong it comes in and it says hey 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 we're not letting you do this there's an infection please figure it out for us we think it's a Trojan um, of course you can always exclude stuff and you can edit uh, these kind of extensions uh, this can make your scanning a little bit faster and it can also drive you a little less insane just whatever you do don't put .exe as your 
<laughs> excluded extension because then you're going to be really killing the point of an antivirus. Um, of course you can exclude some processes um, and once you get to the advanced I recommend that you check off uh, the scan removable drives and I also recommend that you create a system restore point so that if ever there is a virus or if something goes wrong you always have something to go back to and of course you never know when uh, malware may be trying to sneak in through a USB drive so of course you can save these changes MAPS that's a very interesting acronym um, it's a very interesting way of saying Microsoft Active Protection Service and it's your subscription you can opt out of it which means that Microsoft won't be able to get information about viruses and where they came from you can take a basic membership where they only send stuff if something's really detected you know they only take the basic stuff and then if you take the advanced which is what I'm gonna do they get a whole bunch more information now the great thing about this is it actually helps them build their database which helps me in the long run by hopefully keeping my computer clean um, and then of course you've got the administrator thing which isn't in security essentials because this is now built in and you can turn on and turn off Windows Defender through here and of course this is why you don't have um, you don't have uh, Action Center nagging you about security anymore in fact if you go to the Action Center and you go to the security it's gonna tell you that everything is alright your virus protection is okay, your spyware protection is okay, your internet settings are alright, your user control settings are there, your Windows smart screen is there and it's doing its thing, uh, your network access protection is off but it's not running, uh, your Windows is activated and your Microsoft account is alright. So this is what it's going to tell you. So as you can see it's not nagging you, it's telling you your firewall is alright and that's pretty much all there is to it right and of course now your 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 definitions are up to date so even better and to run a scan it's very simple if you want to do a quick scan which basically checks the most common places for viruses you would take quick and scan now you can cancel the scan if you want to do a full system scan you just do full and scan now if you want to scan a particular folder you would do custom you would choose the folder uh, let's see let's see I want to take a small one uh, let's see contacts no, I'll take desktop uh, I really don't know or maybe I'd be best with documents is there something in there Let's see where did Camtasia put its things? Oh yeah, it deleted it. Alright, so app data should have something, yeah. So yeah, because this is a fresh install. So essentially if you do this, as you can see it's gonna scan and when it's scan it's done scanning, it's gonna tell you that you're good or it's gonna tell you that you have some threats and then you have your different uh, threat levels you have green which is good you have yellow which means caution there is something that you need to look at and red means oh my god there's something serious and you have to tend to it right away there is no scheduled scan in here like there was in security essentials maybe that's because of the real time and the smart screen filter and probably it's managed by Windows itself when you boot. So now some more security stuff that I'm going to be going through. Uh, you can change the Windows smart screen settings. And uh, essentially what it does is it can keep your PC safer by warning you when there's something that is, seems suspicious. As I said, it looks at this certificate and it matches it with a database. Uh, in Microsoft and then it comes back and it says okay it's good go ahead or you might want to take a second look at this so essentially your options are to get a minister approval before running the app 
which is recommended. I mean, you can't argue with that. You can warn before running the app, but don't require administrator approval. That's all right too, but if you install Windows, you're almost automatically always the administrator, so there's really no difference. Or you can do nothing, which is to turn off the Windows Smart Screen, which basically kills a layer of defense, which is not a good idea. User account was User account control was first introduced in Windows Vista and that drove people nuts. Uh, in Windows 7 it was still there but it was less noticeable and in Windows 8 it's even less noticeable. In fact you're used to it. But you can always modify it. You can always notify you when something tries to change something or when you make changes to Windows. Um, with this level, which is by default, if you make changes to Windows settings, it won't won't nag you. If you go down a level, it will not dim your desktop when it notifies you, because here it dims the desktop, and for some people that might be a little scary. Oh my God, my computer is. <gasps> anyway, um, and then never notify. Bad idea bad idea but essentially uh, you won't be notified when something tries to change um, any part of Windows or its installation whatsoever and last but not least we're gonna look for the firewall settings so let's just go to uh, system and security and we're gonna check the firewall status and the firewall status is telling us that everything seems alright you've got the advanced settings if you need them over here where you can basically modify all of these inbound and outbound rules you can turn it on or off you can block all incoming connections which is an extra layer of defense um, I'll do that with the public network stuff um, you can change the notification settings okay that's the same thing as before and you can allow an application or a service through the firewall to get some stuff from the internet so really no big changes here but it's still here and it's still accessible you should always keep your uh, your version of Windows up to date I know it sounds tedious for some but it's important but the great thing about Windows 8 is that it updates on its own it updates automatically and when it does need to restart it doesn't nag you to restart like in previous versions of Windows it will wait naturally until you restart on your own and if you don't you'll get this nice little message at startup saying I'm gonna restart because I gotta install some updates and it's really fast it's really smooth nothing like in the past if you want to encrypt your files there's BitLocker and if you need to back up your files you've got file history which basically is a backup uh, tool and that's pretty much it in terms of security so do you think that these new layers of security in Windows 8 make your PC safer? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe button is just above. I will continue to make content on several platforms. And um, of course you can join us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. That's the best place to go for all the up-to-date content of all kinds. I strongly recommend you go and like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and add us to your Google Plus circle. So this has been another uh, look at Windows 8. Uh, we're looking at features one by one. So far I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, of course, what do you think? <laughs> Comments are below. So until the next tutorial, the next video, the next tour, this is where I will leave it off.